Hi, I'm Mark Romain and welcome to the very first episode of A Noob Learning Tarkov. Obviously, I am the noob and I'll be trying to learn this goddamn game. I already have a few hours into the game and I find out by playing scabs and selling stuff on the flea market, uh, you get too much money and you can upgrade too fast and you don't really learn what you could if you were playing more slowly. Also, if you can buy everything on the flea market, finding the stuff to upgrade your hideout and finishing your quest is not that hard and doesn't require you to think about what you're doing. So I decided to reset my account for this series. I won't get any loot from scavrons and I won't use the flea market. So in this episode I will try to survive customs using knowledge of the map flow and running strategies. Let's get right in. So my objectives for the first few raids will be first to make money. I upgraded everything I could from the hideout, I bought some meds and I bought a map. I'm under 50,000 rubles right now and I need more if I want to get gear. My second objective is to loot some gear because what I can get from the traders is very limited, especially the weapons, I don't like them. I will need ammunition, optics and better weapons, I also need back backpacks and rigs. And lastly, the third objective is to obtain some fuel, because in order to craft Salius, which I need for the therapist quest, and to heal between death, because the meds to heal between death will cost me a lot of money. Now, how will I do that? What I learned so far is that I'm surviving way more scavrons than PMC run. And I think this is because of the map flow. When you enter as a scav, you enter late, players have fought and die, some have extracted already, and you're less likely to fight PMCs. What you're fighting are scavs, either players or AI, but they're way less geared than other PMCs, usually. So what I want to do is to try to make my PMC runs look like scab runs. So basically I need to avoid other PMCs. And in order to do that I need to understand the map flow of this map. On customs PMCs spawn on either side of the map and they most likely will go to the high value loot areas or for quest areas. And players seeking PvP know that, so they'll go to the same places in order to find fight. If I can identify these high traffic areas for the beginning of the game, uh, I can avoid them. For the specific spawn I have this raid, I know I have one guy in front of me who should go to dorms, because this is the place with the best loot on this map, so I should be fine moving forward and people behind me should move out carefully because I'm here and there might be the guy in front of me also. So what I want to do from there is to cross the choke point of the map as fast as possible before other players start crossing it. If I can go through this choke point before fights happen there, I might be fine. I, I'd have more space to play with and try to hide from the others. But I still want some loot, and more specifically I want to secure some money in my pouch. This is why I'm hitting the place on the top of the hill where I can find weapons, which I need, and meds, and several stashes on the way to the choke point. I'm losing time doing this, and people might catch up to me, or players from the other side might start crossing and get to the choke point, but I'm very lightly geared right now, so I'm not losing much, and what I have in my pouch is completely secured and I need it in every raid.
Uh, this is a scav. I wonder if I can try to fight him, but I want to be in cover while doing it. This is why I'm getting there. Uh, fighting behind the trees. I don't have any body armor right now, so I don't feel confident fighting him uh, in the trees. They don't provide enough cover because I won't be able to see where the guy is. Problem is, I don't see him from there. So. Maybe he died? I repack my mags and uh, check the body. I think I hurt someone. But I'm not sure. Right now, I just want to leave. Okay, I need to rest a bit. People are very close. Oh, someone over there. I think I should try to cross. I don't want to. I wanted to take the smuggler boat extract, but there's someone there waiting, so I go around. Now let's talk about my loadout. Because I'm so poor, and I can't reliably buy stuff. Uh, repeatedly if I die, I only took the Makarov given to me by the game and I bought a sling in order to be able to bring back some loot. As for meds, I have painkillers just in case I get shot in the leg and a bandage so I don't die stupidly from uh, blood loss. Taking into account what I bought and what I could have sold, all of it is costing me 10k and it's very likely I'll get everything back from insurance, except for the meds, of course. I could try and get some loot, some more, uh, because I have room, but... Like, I have the shotgun I need for my quests. I have a pistol, and I have some stuff. So, the first raid is a survived one, which I hope is a good omen. I'm bringing back some stuff not very valuable but I'm keeping most of it except for a magazine worth a thousand which is not a lot but I'm keeping the rest either for future barter for hideout upgrades or for future use so I made some progress which is good next trade I'll be going with the bag I brought back instead of a sling uh, just a slight upgrade Okay, here I'm kind of the middle, uh, the m there might be someone over there, and others this way. Uh, I will hit the weapon crates. I don't have many bullets with this, but it's way better than, uh, than the Makarov. So here I want to wait for a while. I'll uh, loot what I can, and wait until player fights and, uh, and get away. Problem is, they might come here. So now I'm kind of full. I'd like a better backpack and a rig. So I need to find scab for this. The uh, player are probably still around. I will try to hit the, the place where there's fuel spawning. Oh, this is fuel. Uh, problem is fuel that will take almost all the space I have. And I can't put it in my pouch, but I try to bring it home anyway. Maybe I can find the blue one that I can secure. I'm ready to... Okay. I was about to say I'm ready to ditch everything to get the other fuel. So, let's try to find what I did wrong in this. First thing, 
I'm seeing the guy right behind the truck, but I'm not noticing him. I don't think this is a mistake, it's just like the way I am. And this is not something I will be able to change. At least not if I don't play a lot. Then I'm hearing the grenade being tossed at me and I run. I run for two reasons. First, the grenade might be spot on and kill me. Second, right after throwing the grenade, uh, they'll probably push me and I don't know where they are. The problem is I'm running into them, which is bad luck. And I have a very slow reaction time, but I'm not sure I could have done anything anyway, since there are two of them with better gear. Now comes the question of, could I have avoided this fight? Obviously, they were aware of my presence, uh, because they threw the grenade, but did they just saw me from the truck? Or maybe they heard me and they knew I was there, because I was walking on a metal floor. Maybe if I had slow walk uh, while crouching to not make any noise at all, they would not have been aware of my presence, but in the end, they would have pushed into the room and I would have been cornered anyway. So I don't think I could have done anything in this case to avoid the fight. During this raid, I secured a soap, a syringe, an optic and a morphine. The morphine itself will recover the cost of the raid. The syringe I thought was valuable, but it's not the case. There's a battle tray to get a lunchbox worth 5k, but it's not great. And the soap, I wanted it because you have a battle for a class 4 body armor and you need several soaps and toilet papers for it. Okay, this is trailer park spawn. Uh, with this spawn, I want to take my time and explore this area. People are going to the, the railway house usually, and I don't want them to. I don't want to crowd them, so I will wait until they get away. Maybe fight and die, and then I will cross and probably avoid the warehouse. Because I'm trying to make money and healing when you die is quite expensive, I only used one AI2 to heal my head, my thorax and my stomach. The head and the thorax because you die if it goes to zero and the stomach because if your stomach is blacked out you lose hydration and like, your odds of survival are very low and you need to move very fast and find food on the way. So if I can avoid that, I'll try it. Okay, looted everything, so now what I'd like is to find the scav to kill. Uh, to get the better backpack, basically. Uh, I've secured quite a lot of money in my pouch, and what I have is useful and I'm happy to have it but I might want to risk going over there there are often scabs did you just just pwned? So let's see what happened. Uh, I'm circling around searching for scav bodies because I already scanned the road and there were no scavs. And while I'm going around, I'm missing the guy behind the tank, right there. I'm watching the road right now and I'm not noticing this shape. So the first mistake is I should have checked every angle. Like just a quick peek, but I did not look behind the tank. I was focusing on the road. The second mistake I make probably wouldn't have changed anything, but I'm seeing the scav and I'm going after it like a child goes after a candy. I should have searched for cover before beginning the fight. Either going around, staying behind the blue container or hiding behind the bus stop. Hiding behind the bus stop I would still have died, but this is a mistake because had I missed my shots, I would have been left 
with an empty weapon in the open without body armor against the scab, killing me. So I secured a condensed milk worth almost 20k which I'm selling, a 4x optic which I'll keep just in case. Okay, there's a scab on the right. I will wait a bit to see if other scabs are coming here. I didn't make much noise, but he shot once, so maybe people heard. So I'm taking shelter and we'll try to sort what I have. The fighting seems to be happening in the warehouse, but I'm not sure if it's exactly there or not. Okay, I can't take any more loot, so it's time to get out. I'm not sure which path I should take. Uh, since I'm on this side, I'll go. I would cross on the same side, but after this, I'm not sure yet what to do. I'm gonna hide and search my stuff. If I find a good place to hide, maybe this is a good place. I'll go through custom. It might be like not the safest route, but the one that will allow me uh, the more the most ability to escape, basically. Because there's more cover, so I might be able to run away. Okay, there are scouts here. Are they hungry at me or at someone else? I don't think he saw me. So now the plan is to cross from the forest and go all the way to the train and try to take uh, the least used path to extraction. Or at least what I think is the least used path. Okay, it was probably at me. Oh, it's a scale. Uh, maybe I should take cover here. Try to see if I see him, but if I'm far enough away and it's not a sniper, should be fine. So I run, take a bit of a breather behind these containers. I really want to get out right now. I have everything I want. So what I'm trying to do here is to take the longer route with not that much loot on it and hope people won't bother doing this. Or the, the lightly geared guys like me. 
so I might have a fighting chance against people taking this path. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, might not feel like it's a very tense raid, but like it is for me, uh, when you have what you want, you really want to get out. So this is basically what I want to sell, uh, because I don't need it right now. All the stuff down, I uh, want to keep, like both rigs, because I will use them. Uh, the Saiga, I might use it. The MP5, I might use it. And the gun I will definitely use. So fuel gun is worth, is worth a lot, so it will bring me on track, I think. And now I need to study the rest to know if I if it's worth looting it or not later. Okay, so I'm all the way up to almost 200k and I have enough mass to buy a packa. So I'll be able to find a better loadout uh, for the next raid, I think. Okay, I'm through to the forest again, so I'd still try to hit this place. I hope no one spawned over there, and if there's someone to the train, I hope he won't come here. So, with the money I made in the last raid, thanks to the fuel conditioner, and the pistols I have from the beginning of the game that I kept, the P226R, I feel more confident uh, upgrading my loadout. So I have now a Paka, one of the guns. This new gun is an upgrade because it has more rounds in the mag and it's using better ammunition. I am able to pierce class 2 body armor, uh, which a lot of scavs have. So it's a straight upgrade, but it won't penetrate better armor than this. So I still need to try to headshot even the scavs. They sometimes have better armor than this, and players will be very difficult to fight with this. The Paka can take several shots uh, from basic ammunitions, which the scavs are using, so I'm taking more meds with me. I have a bandage, a painkiller, an AI2, and then I have spare ammunition. The total cost of this is around uh, 50k, a bit less, and it will not change the way I play for now because I still, I still am an underdog against other players. Okay, AKMS is kind of good. Uh, PS rounds can pierce through class 3 armor, I think. So, nice upgrade. But I still won't try to fight. Because first, I'm pretty bad. Second, I still have only crappy body armor. And I only have alpha mag with this. Well, scavs are around. I don't think it's a good play to try and fight them now. Gas station is a pretty heavily populated area. Fire is up. Oh, it survived. I was expecting a run through. So I'm keeping the gun and the ammunition uh, to use them later in fights. The Cobra 2 and like, what is this? The saline solution and the gunpowder for hideout and uh, border. I keep the screws too. Light went up. This might be 
a player, so I'd rather not go to old gas station. Okay, new fuel. All the fire is up again. I'm lucky here. Oh, please don't die, don't die, don't die. Okay, I'm bringing back two weapons, a body armor, a backpack, a good rig, and a backpack full of stuff. I'll be selling all of this, which is quite a lot of money. I'm selling to Ragman because I want to upgrade him. Therapist is quite easy to, to upgrade. I have now an item for a barter for the Saloa and I'm keeping a bunch of stuff. Really quite a bunch. All the gear and a lot of items for hideout upgrades. So I have what I need to upgrade to, to build the workbench and to build the nutrition unit. Oh, I think this is a late spawn. Yeah, one minute late. Uh, so people might already be going toward me. I'd still loot this, maybe I should not. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have taken these shots, but you never know. Or maybe I should have taken cover before doing it. Anyway, I'm running away now. I don't want to engage in a real fight if I can avoid it. I don't know where this was coming from. I'm not really confident in fighting against other players. Uh, I have low gear, low abilities, and like, I didn't know where the guy was, so by the time I would be able to find him, I'd probably die. So that's why I'm just running away without uh, thinking about it too much. I need to think about do I get out or not. 
uh, have two weapons which can sell for quite a bit I guess and considering loot I don't have much but I'm low on health so I think I will try to get out I'm just near extraction I can reset the raid and like it's little gain probably but gain nonetheless not a glorious raid but I survived by like running away and trying to make the best of what I knew. Oh, you can now see what he did you and the ammunition. So M995 is pretty good. So I think I was right uh, not to, to fight this. Here's the stuff I'm selling. The rest I will keep. Uh, the weapons, I have some ammunition for the ADAR and like the PP9. Uh, I have attachment for it and I might want to use it in factory. Oh, this is loud. Okay, I don't want to go into big red. I didn't know this was a spawn. So I will explore storage like usual. There's shooting over there. I can't even hear my own footsteps. Other shot pretty close by. Just where I'm heading right now, so I'll probably wait a bit. Problem is I heard fighting in the warehouse also. Okay, there are still people here fighting. Okay, they are still fighting over there. I don't have many options. I don't want to cross over there because I heard fighting in the red warehouse. Someone's coming. Oh my god. Of course, so I guess I should have checked around, uh, probably people heard my shots and I knew there was people around because fighting was happening a lot uh, around construction. Problem is I'm not able to fight them so I figured my best chance is to go loot, get better gear and get out. But like if there's someone it doesn't work but I can't pass out on this kind of loot and I don't think I can fight for it. I guess I took a long time to loot. Uh, maybe what I should have done is just take the weapons, uh, the armor, maybe the rig to get more ammunition and then check around with this gear. Maybe I would have had a chance uh, in a fight with this. So I will end the episode here. Uh, everything went quite well. Five survived raids, three death. Uh, pretty good rate. I think my strategy is kind of working. Problem is I'm not making that much money even though I survived. So there are stuff that I'm keeping. Uh, weapons, 
items for barter and uh, hideout upgrades. So I'm not selling everything and I'm keeping stuff that are less valuable because I will need them later. Uh, but still, I'm not going for the high value loot, for the high place because I don't want to fight. So it's kind of slow, but it's working. We have now, I think, enough money and weapons and stuff in general to gear up a bit. So next episode, I will go in raids with uh, rifles. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you next time.